Let's go. And you will see. enjoying your weekend this is a beautiful weekend it's saturday the 25th day of june 2022 and this is your love boy today your love boy today is telling you to put off the old man let's go read from the scriptures in ephesians in chapter 4 beginning from the 17th verse so we can find out how we will put off the old man in us let's go now this I affirm and testify in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardiness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to licentiousness, greedy to practice every kind of uncleanliness. You did not you did not so learn Christ. Assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, put off your old nature, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful lusts. This is the word of the Lord. Yes, the word of the Lord asking you to put off the old man and we need to thank the Lord for that word because it is for our own edification. It is for our own good. I must remind you that when Paul was writing to the Ephesians, it was like his second doctrinal uh, letter and it was to establish how people should live, should relate one with another and with God to the extent that they will reign in Christ even whilst they were on earth. That was the whole essence of writing to the Ephesians because he was actually himself in a prison in Rome at that point in time when he wrote this, but he wanted to be sure that those that were outside were comfortable but were living right with God that they were doing what they ought to do and should be who they ought to be. And if they were in Christ, they ought to have put behind all those things that were not of God. In fact, that reminds me that even he wrote something like that to the Corinthians when he wrote in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man be in Christ is a new creature, that all things are passed away and that behold, all things should be new in you. So you used to steal. You are a Christian now. That should be part of the old man. Put it off. You need to backbite. That's part of the old man. Put it off. You mean to you, you used to be mean to everybody around you. You are such a tough nut to crack. You are so legalistic. You make life difficult for anyone around you who is not doing certain things in particular order, that's part of the old man. Put it behind you and have a new lease of life in Christ. You used to be involved in adultery, in fornication. Facts, you used to wish or actually did kill people. That's part of the old man. Put it behind you. Once you are a Christian, you should live your life like Christ lived his own. Like those people in Antioch that were mentored by Barnabas 
lived their own that they got the name Christians, thereby that you and I also bear today. So you must put off the old man and let the spirit of Christ dwell in you to the extent that you are like Christ and therefore a proper Christian. Are you a Christian? Well, if you are, congratulations, glory be to God. If you're not, this is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ so that you can also be able to effectively put off the old man in you. If you are set for that experience, you say this prayer. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Forgive me of my sins. Give me the grace to put off the old man. That from today, I will be one with you. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Find a Bible believing church close by. If you can find an Anglican church, that will be a nice place for you to grow in the faith and put off the old man. How no matter how many dimensions that that old man has in you, right now you still you kill, you destroy, you maim, you commit all kinds of atrocities you are mean to people you can put off the old man once you are now in christ and i have told you that you should find the bible believing church and if you happen to be in oshobo come to the anglican church or PSL extension that's in the chapel hall of the olive branches maryland high schools for now that's along going and Gokunibon drive Rukia City Extension of Shobo. Join us midweek, 5 o'clock every Wednesday and every Sunday for the matins at 10 o'clock in the morning. As you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. But as you go out today, let's quickly say this prayer together. Say, Father, give me the grace to live daily in the newness of life at a pace that will be glorious unto you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go out today and remain blessed. Amen. I join you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you good.